Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas video. As usual, we're gonna take a look at all the majors including oil and gold to help you out with your trading plan for the upcoming week. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe and please do not forget to hit the like button if you do like these videos. So let's go. Uh, we will start uh, with the Dixie. And as usual, we always start with the dollar index just to um, have a good idea on the overall uh, trend on of the US dollar. So we are not trading the Dixie. We're just doing this for the analysis. So we are on the weekly time frame. And as you see, guys, I've been try, uh, talking about this level for a while now. And now this area, the 92 level is uh, broken, as you see. And we are also trading below this swing low down here so uh, the dollar is still bearish we broke strongly on the weekly time frame and as you see if you look left there is not much on the way until we reach this area down here this is uh, the next area of support and if we look further left we see also that we have uh, this whole area that been acting as resistance uh, back in 2009 2008 and 2010 so uh, it is a pretty interesting level and a potential market objective <clears throat> going down to the daily time frame. We see it clearly. We're still in a bearish trend. So for the dollar now, the next move should be a uh, look for potential retest of this area and then probably a continuation to the downside to reach this uh, target area that we mentioned at around the 88 and 50. Uh, <clears throat> They can look at the gold you see that i hope uh, that you guys uh, managed to uh, play this trade because i've been mentioning this uh, level uh, for a while in my weekly overviews that we're gonna potentially look for a um, some kind of buying pressure at around the 1775 area and as you see the dollar on the weekly time frame this is the first time we test this area after the break we had here. So now we got the retest and uh, we were looking for potential continuation. We had a nice bounce on the weekly going down to the daily time frame. You see also that we are trading back above the 200 uh, moving average. Previously, we had the same uh, thing happening here down here. The market traded a little bit below the 200 moving average to then bounce strongly and continue to the upside. So the long term um, trend on the on gold is clearly a bullish trend as you see and this was a nice uh, correction to the downside now the question is it gonna continue to give us more upside um, or not so uh, what we should be looking for next week is uh, this area here i think this is um, a pretty interesting level to see if uh, gold gonna stop at this area at around the 1860 level uh, to check if uh, the bulls really mean it they need to uh, break back inside the range break previous high then give us a higher low to then start looking for that continuation so for now be careful that uh, they might be some bearish pressure on the retest and one more bounce to the downside now we are as I said, in the long term bullish, what will make me change my mind and uh, start looking for a, a longer term bearish scenario? Well, that is if the gold will strongly break below the 200 moving average and below this uh, previous swing low down here, then we start looking to sell gold even further down this time toward the uh, 1600 maybe. OK, so first of all, keep an eye on this structure here this level here on the four hour time frame is a clear structure to watch to see if it's gonna act as resistance now or not but as you see we started nicely with a break above previous high retest and continuation so the question now are we gonna get one more like this and then continuation in any case if the uh, gold move back toward this level i'm looking for at least a short term uh, bullish move to the upside from uh, at around the um, 1815 uh, area okay uh, oil still also looking uh, strong looking on the daily time frame we see that we had a 
nice break above this previous high we had a retest and was uh, attempting to do a continuation one thing did not happen on oil to call a continuation toward the 50 area was that we didn't have a daily close above this previous high that would be a strong signal that we might continue to the upside but the daily close was not above a previous high we had a close on the four hour time frame above that level to then move back down to the broken structure and then a little bit bounce once again so oil it is it possible that we see a continuation to the upside from this area even though we didn't have a daily close above the that previous level well i think that could be the case uh, if we're gonna take a look on the one hour time frame i think we're gonna use the 200 moving average as a nice filter as far as the market is trading above the 200 moving average on the one hour i think we might look for continuation and um, also potentially if the 4550 level is uh, still holding as support you might see a continuation to the upside so all in all oil is bullish and we should be looking for continuation the question is 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 that continuation going to happen from this level and then uh, go off or are we looking for a deeper correction before that continuation to happen euro usd also uh, <coughs> a bullish market moving strongly to the upside let's go to the weekly time frame and check what we have so we have a strong weekly close above previous high above this high as well and there is nothing on the way if we look left until we reach this area up here so this level is a potential market objective guys so keep an eye on that so um, are we uh, gonna see a continuation from here without a correction i'm not sure about that but if we get any correction back down toward this area and we see bullish evidence i'm looking for a potential continuation on uh, euro usd looking on the four hour time frame we had this uh, little minor trend here last week um, trend line i would say on the four hour that got broken and we might see a little bit of a correction continuation so the big question now is it a short <coughs> short term correction toward the uh, monthly r1 pivot down here and then continuation or is it a bigger continuation like i showed you on the daily time frame is it like something like this to retest this whole neckline and then continue higher so longer term we should be looking for a bullish continuation short term with couple of rejections we might see a little bit of a, um, a down move uh, next week uh, some kind of a correction or uh, something like that on uh, euro usd sterling usd for our uh, let's go to the daily time frame i would say we had a nice uh, nice test of the monthly r1 and a spike above uh, this previous high looking left we did a spike above this and a spike above that there was no close above these levels uh, on the daily time frame which is um, a important signal because if the bulls really wanted to keep pushing this market to, to the upside they had to give us a, a strong break above these levels that did not happen and we have a a, a nice uh, uh, inverted um, hammer here so the question for next week what is uh, the next from here was it only a spike and uh, some kind of um, uh, uh, stop loss hunt before we start seeing a deeper correction on sterling usd or not so we play it on the lower time frame in my opinion as far as this holding as support short term we might see some kind of a ranging market here in this area and then if we break below this range the next structure gonna surely be this uh, previous range we had um, last week this is gonna be also yet another important uh, support level for uh, this market so short term if we break below this level here guys you might play a, a, a short trade toward this area and then if that also got broken then we start looking for a deeper correction but first off we're looking for a potential continuation but keep in mind that for that continuation to happen we need a strong break above this level so we check on the weekly time frame so you don't tell me oh pierre you said we're gonna go long no um i'm not telling you to go long at a strong resistance look left we had this whole move starting from here we had this move starting from here as well but as you see each time the lows are getting higher so potentially it is a nice bottom here you see here a rounded bottom we might end up seeing a break to the upside but we do not go long before the breakout happens so be careful about that probably as i said some kind of a short-term 
correction back down before that happening. USD Japan, nothing new here. As you see, yet another range on the four hour time frame. We should keep playing this range until we have a break out of it, guys. Sell the high, buy the low. If it break this range, keep in mind that the next level gonna be 103 down here at around the monthly S1. So this would not be a uh, big move, yeah, because we're gonna meet support down here at this level. So for now, play that range until it breaks out. USD Chief also uh, strongly bearish. Weekly time frame, we do have now that breakout that I'm talking about because it is, as you see, nothing uh, on the way here until we reach this level. So it broke strongly on the weekly. Uh, we have a strong break on the daily as well. And this market is still a bearish market. Next correction could be toward this area. If it happens toward this broken structure, I will start looking for a potential continuation to the downside from this level on USD chief. USD CAD also um, still bearish. So it broke below the structure on the weekly time frame. This whole structure is broken and now testing yet another potential support area at this level here. And it been acting also as um, some kind of a resistance on the weekly time frame previously. Watch this level and then if you see also this level br broken on the daily time frame, we are looking for a continuation toward this low down here. So USD CAD still in a bearish structure on the weekly daily time frame, also a bearish structure with lower lows and lower highs, as you see. But again, keep in mind that we are testing now another possible support level on this uh, market and on the four hour time frame also bearish all time frames are bearish one hour time frame strongly bearish and we should for now keep looking to sell rallies sell retest of uh, important levels and uh, potentially the, the 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 first level i'm thinking of is up here at around this area to then look for continuation this uh, area here might act as resistance since it's been acting as nice uh, support previously now broken we look for a retest and then continuation from that area Aussie USD also uh, still bullish checking the weekly time frame we see that we do have a close above this previous high it is not the strongest close but still it is a close above uh, the previous high and uh, as you see if we look left there is this here this here and this stop up here that could be potential market objective if we go down to the daily here we see it clearly a strong break to the upside and on the four hour time frame we're still channeling inside this channel here i would keep playing this channel until it's uh, it is broken that if the break happened that would mean uh, potentially that we have uh, some kind of a correction to start so keep following this channel guys each and every time you see a bounce at this channel with some bullish evidence look for potential continuation to the upside and then if broken with a lower high then we start looking for a possible deeper correction toward monthly pivot point and this previous structure down here yeah look left it is a nice structure down here if the market tests that to then start looking for some kind of a bounce back to the uh, to the upside on uh, usd oz new zealand usd start making a wedge now on the four hour time frame but let's go on the weekly and check where we are at as you see this market on the weekly time frame we have an inverted hammer which is a rejection so uh, after a strong break here we start seeing a little bit of a rejection now we have a break above these previous highs so overall it is still bullish but as this rejection start to happen on the weekly time frame you see on the daily time frame the rotation here the bodies of these candles the bearish divergence we have there is potentially a short-term correction next week maybe all the way down here before the continuation so the next uh, couple of weeks we might see correction down on New Zealand USD before the continuation so short term be careful on the long side you see it here clearly on the four hour time frame how this wedge is now getting broken and I think next week any break below this structure here that might signal continuation so I'm waiting for this next week if we have a break below this something like this to then fail to make a new high I'm looking then for that 
correction to the downside toward monthly pivot point or the bottom of the wedge so yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot do not forget to hit the like button and see you next week bye bye